When you're looking for a job, it's really important to have a strategy. Because no matter where you at in your job search, and no matter what your situation is, whether you are looking for a job ASAP or you have a job and you are looking for a better job, it is always good to have strategy in mind. So let's break it down. When it comes to a strategy, how to apply for jobs and how to jump on, here's what I do. I have a list of companies that I want to work for, that I know from other developers or other professionals who work there, that they have really good reputation, they have really good culture. And then I look at the companies who are in my industry, in my specialty, if they have a mobile app, and if, um, a mobile app is a significant portion of that product. And if it is not a significant portion of that product, that company or that um, product probably won't be on my list of the companies that I want to work for. So then I look at the companies that I am curious about. I am curious what it's like to work there. I don't mind work there. So it's like, it's my um, kind of level two in my priority list. Okay. I'm kind of curious. I'm, I keep hearing about them. I keep um, seeing other developers. I keep seeing other people working for them and they kind of like it, but they're not my first priority. And my third group are the companies that I am okay to work for, but they're not they're not in my close proximity in, in, in terms of the interest, but I don't mind to work for them. And my fourth category is the companies that I absolutely don't want to work for and I do not apply for them. And I try to avoid them. So this is this is how everything play uh, kind of lays out when I'm looking for a job. So if I were to be on the job market, right? So I would start with my level one, level one. I would start connecting with other developers and I would start having a conversation with other developers, my peers and it's really important, and I will make another video how to network on LinkedIn. And it's really important to establish connection, not just send a connection request. Let me say it again. It's really important to establish connection, genuine connection from person to person and not just send a connection request. So then my second uh like my second layer of connections with those companies would be uh technical recruiters and when i connect with technical recruiters i will introduce myself i will introduce what i do and i state clearly what do i want like obviously i want to network obviously i want to have like connection but also because they are working there and it's their job, I say I would say I would state it clearly that I would be interested hearing about positions in I was development space, for example. So that was my level. That was my second uh, layer of connection for that company, and then I will connect with with the hiring managers. And when I look for hiring managers, I would look closely at what they do. Are they close to mobile or are they close to something else? Because I don't necessarily want to connect with the hiring. I mean, I do, but my first priority will be managers who work in the mobile space because this is where I want to be. My second layer of hiring managers would be any other hiring manager in tech department that is not related to mobile 
But and it's a good connection to have, and I would also try to establish connections with them. But I would be focused on, I would focus on hiring managers in the mobile space that in close proximity of what I do, and I would send them connection, like also meaningful connection requests. Also, it's really important to note. I would not ask everybody and anybody to give me a job on that company when I'm sending connection requests. Let me say it again. I won't ask everybody and anybody, especially hiring manager, especially my colleagues, to give me a job on that company because I'm interested. I will I will work with the recruiters on the positions that are open because a recruiter is probably the most qualified person to talk about it. And with the hiring managers and my peers, I would establish like professional relationship, professional networking, and try to provide value as much as possible. After I've done this uh, exercise with my first level, my absolutely favorite uh, companies that I would have worked for, then I would go for my second and third um, level of connections. So, and the speed of I would execute that exercise would depend on my situation. Even if, like, let's, God forbid, if I need to look for a job right now, ASAP, I would start applying for companies that I'm interested in first and see if they have positions first. If they don't have anything, I would start going down like going down my list, like to my second degree and or like to my second level and third level and so on and so forth. And if other if I don't see any companies in what in any of those lists, then I would look at other companies and I would investigate other companies that are available on the market right now. So that would be my strategy. And also when you're applying for jobs. And it's really important to keep the data. It's really important to keep the data to yourself. And it's really important to keep notes of recruiters, names of the recruiters that you talk to, companies that you interviewed, type of roles. Is it a full-time or a contract role? Especially if it is a contract role, you want to take a note of the uh, require job requirements ID because many recruiters from many and different agencies may reach out to you about the same position and you want to work with one recruiter with one agency for one role. This is how it works because if multiple agencies uh, submit a can like the same candidate, you may not get a, like, an interview. You may lose that interview. Well, let me say it again. If you are applying for a contract role with multiple recruiters from multiple different agencies, you may lose that role because of the contract for contracting agencies because uh, the company can only work with one agency. And if they see duplicates from many agencies, they may not go with your candidacy at all. It happened to me before. Be careful about that. So, and this is pretty much all what I wanted to tell you. If you're looking for a job and if you want to know more tips how to look for jobs successfully, follow me on LinkedIn. It would be the best place to hang out with me. It would be the best place to connect with me. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel because I also put those videos on YouTube as well. I hope it was useful. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.